Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how I rearranged the room and made objects float with superpowers using Adobe After Effects. So let's get started. First let's see the original shot. In the main shot I pretended to move the objects and wall with force. Then I moved the couch and filmed a separate shot of the painting so that it looks like it's levitating. Next I did the same for the couch table and also recorded a clean plate. Finally, to create the wall movement, I made the camera slide to the left, revealing a different part of the room. And those are all shots we need, so we can get into the editing. Before that, I would like to quickly mention Envato Elements. Envato Elements is a tool every filmmaker will appreciate. You can find there thousands of creative assets and templates for any kind of project you're working on. They offer great stock footage, including green screen clips like fog, fire, lightning, and literally anything you'll need. Apart from that, this library also includes awesome After Effects and Premiere Pro templates, VFX assets, intros, transitions, motion graphics, as well as sound effects and music. It allows you to download unlimited amount of all these assets just for a single price and you can cancel it anytime. Envato Elements is a huge time saver and helps you create videos faster. Make sure to check it out, there is a link in the description down below. Now let's fire up After Effects. First of all, I placed all shots on the timeline. I decided to start by cutting out the couch in the second position in Photoshop and ended up with two layers. First is the couch itself and the second are its shadows. Then I used the Content Aware fill to fill the door area. Next I brought these layers into After Effects. I made a mask on the clean plate image to cover just the area around the door and couch. I also feathered it out a bunch. Now to get the body to the front I used the Roto Brush tool. First I duplicated the main shot and brought it to the top of the timeline. Once the selection is done, freeze it. Tweak the settings and enable the motion blur. Next let's make the door movement. I made a simple mask around the door and animated it to follow the door as it slides to the left. Then I synchronized it with the hand movement and froze the beginning and end. After that I animated the opacity of the clean plate layer to go from 0 to 100% to hide the original door. Next I revealed the couch and couch shadows layer and animated the position to create a sliding animation. To make the animation smooth easy is the keyframes and you can also tweak it in the graph editor. The perspective was a bit different, so I used the mesh warp effect to align this couch better with the couch in the original position. To make the transition seamless, I also decided to animate the original couch. So I made a couple of masks, animated the position, and opacity to make it fade away in the middle of the transition. This way in the first half of the transition there is the couch from the original position, and in the second half it quickly changes to the couch in the final position. Of course enable motion blur so that the transition isn't noticeable. Now for the levitating painting I again use the Roto Brush tool to separate it from the background. Then I placed it on the wall and used a reference video I shot earlier to get it right. 
I use the drop shadow effect to give it a subtle shadow and color matched it with a curves effect. Since the whole levitation movement was done practically, I only had to adjust the speed so that it matches with the movement of my hands. Furthermore, I repeated the same process for the last object, keeping the original shadows on the floor on a separate layer. Finally, precompose all these layers and you can add some fake camera movement and color grading. And that's how you can move walls and make things levitate. If you found this helpful, please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.